sniffers. Okay, bad angle, really hot. Anyway, you'll never believe what's happening today. Christina is here. Straight up went from going to bird stores to now she's in my house. <laughs> and guess why? The most exciting thing, she brought a bird for me to see. Are you guys excited? It's her bird, just so you guys know. <gasps> can she come out? Of course she can. Oh my god, I'm dying. This is my first time not seeing a mustache parakeet, obviously, since Picasso, but like holding one. Do you want to come out and I'll just like kiss you and hug you and love you forever? Okay, for those of you new here, thank you so much for being here. We love birds. And uh, for those of you who have been following my Picasso story, this is like a little baby. And Christina's been talking and posting about her on Parrot Station. So I said, could you please bring her over? Hi! Oh, wow. George, what do you think? <laughs> This is Evie, guys. Jersey, I want you to see somebody. Look, what do you think? It's not Picasso, though. Aw, you sad it's not Picasso, but it's Picasso's family member. What do you think of that? It's Picasso's sister came to visit you from out of town. <laughs> Hi. How long have you had her? Uh, three months now. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, <laughs> she's so cute. She likes to talk a lot. She's very talkative. And she likes my earrings. George, don't you want to come see this up close? Hello. Wow. Uh -huh. She complains a Funny. lot when my husband touches her while she's on me. <laughs> she doesn't bite. Don't she be doesn't? scared. No, oh, I mean, okay. it's more about I'm going to put your finger in my mouth and then throw it away. That's how no. Picasso was. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. Aww. I really want her to learn other people, so this is a very good experience for her. Yeah, she's she only gets so me 24 7. It's just okay. Me. This is what I realized like, oh. and maybe your husband does this because George kind of does this too. Other people in the family, they're like, oh, we got a new bird. I want the bird to like me. This will be the one. But then there's someone in the family good with birds, like you or me, and the bird like bonds with us very quickly. And then the other person goes, oh, they like you more. And they stop trying to socialize. Yeah. They stop putting in the effort and that's the problem, right? I mean, he's not stopping because every day he'll go up to my most nippy and he will... <laughs> He'll attempt maybe, to touch her. Maybe you should start with the less <laughs> nippy ones. I actually got her after watching you or all of your Picasso videos. Oh! Yeah. You 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 came because she of was an Picasso. inspiration. So you have four birds. I do one's a baby, not home yet. Okay, We're you have four birds. <laughs> Would you be? interested in meeting Nelly. I am open and <laughs> interested and yeah. And Monty. Here's the thing though, right now, they're both like attached to me. Mm -hmm. But so they need someone like you that knows how to make birds attached to them. Yeah. They can't really have like a beginner. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They could because they're loving, but yeah. like they need someone that like just knows how to handle birds. That's it, really, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh like my it. God. I want I thought I was gonna cry when I saw this bird. Jersey, don't be jealous. That's a poser. I don't know that bird. I grew up with the craziest type of bird you could have, and that's a cockatoo. You don't grew up with a cockatoo? Yeah, because my oh, father. You're a professional. Jersey, don't take a person. You have a family that loves birds. Due to dad, yes. <laughs> Me too. Due to dad, sort of due to dad. Okay, if my mom hears this, she's gonna be so mad. Dad always loved animals. Us loving animals is because of my dad, 100%. Uh oh, somebody's jealous. Dad surprised me with my first bird, and he wouldn't let me get a bird. He said, bird should not be in cages. And I said, but if I have a bird, he won't be. And he said, we can't have animals where they're in the cage. And then he surprised me with the one once he saw the potential, and then the whole family became in love with birds. But the way that story goes, my mom's very mad at she goes, you know, it's not fair. I'm the one that told him to go get the bird, and now he gets all the credit. Hi, Jersey. Hi. Can I pet you? You're busy. You're busy looking at other birdies. Hi, sweetie. You're just the cutest cockatoo in the world, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> you know, with Jersey, I always get the butt. <laughs> I've grown to accept it. <laughs> She's got that same Picasso thing that way you could just like yeah, you want to just like same, snuggle. The same snuggle. My first mustache parakeet was not like this. He was cray cray. My Malibu. Oh my god, he sounds like Picasso. She, 
she? I don't know if she doesn't. Mm. She does not smell like Picasso. She's got a different, a different type of musk. Yeah, she does. She has a musky smell, but it's so, I don't care. I love it. Mix of baby powder. Yes. And then there's like fruit because I get some apples and yeah. strawberries and her favorite is pomegranate. She goes crazy for pomegranate. Oh my God. So do my birds. They love pomegranate. <laughs> they get it all and over the walls. Yeah. Who's crazy birds? You have a mustache parakeet and you have a conure. So what is like the, the difference, difference between the for two? You? A lot of my viewers are like, which bird should I get? And like, I always recommend conures. I've previously recommended mustache parakeets. I don't think they're the best for beginners, but they can be really good. Like, you know, but... I wouldn't. Okay, mustache parakeets are great birds, but they're shy. So if you're looking for a bird that you're gonna just get in the feathers, they are not open to that at first. <laughs> no. You really gotta work with them. But but they do sniff position. Look, yes. like, I mean, no two birds are the same, but this is totally a Picasso move. That's exactly what I did with Picasso all day. All day long, she'd be able to sleep and he'll be like, just like, he'll cozy yeah, up into that's it. that's all I needed. You know, I didn't need, like, to get all up in the feathers. Like, I just wanted like that, that sniff position. Yeah. This position right here is what George is doing now. So this is essentially Picasso and Evie. Go ahead, Evie. Do a sniff position. Yeah. Oh, she goes right into it. Not all birds are the same, but I mean. <laughs> if you can get your bird to do that, you're definitely in a good place. I definitely recommend Conyers for first time bird owners. I know people say cockatiels, but a cockatiel wasn't enough for me. Why? <laughs> it was I so love... enough for me. I love okay, cockatiels. I, I had a cockatiel since I was five. I started with a cockatiel. Yeah. My dad trained it. It could step up and kiss and hug and all that. But as soon as I went to the store and I saw the pineapple Conyers silver, Super tough. It was over. I paid right there. It was done. She was mine. I understand what you're saying, <laughs> but my dually was just like such a personality. Yeah, yeah. I are. just love a cockatiel. Or a yeah, cockatiel. it was a cockatiel. My neck is killing me from doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you keep doing it. Okay, who else wants to come out? Vinny sees a box right there that he already tried to kill George over today. Go over there. Oh, so cute. Who's the cutest? Who's the cutest? Who's the cutest? Vinny, are you the cutest? I should have had you meet Nellie and Monty before I let them all loose. Hi. You hi. said hi. Hi. Oh, Miss Vinny. <laughs> Rocky. You can't even turn around in there. Oh my god, like he escaped and went in here. Rocky, can you get out of there now? That's not yours. Ooh. Meanwhile, let's see what Vinny's doing. Vinny, how quiet are all my birds? Pretty quiet. Are they quiet? Yeah. Like, they don't make noises. They I just... think the only noise you would hear all day is maybe Vinny scratching up his box. Yeah, that's it. Okay, somebody wants to meet you. Look, he's got his wings up. He has his wings up. Say hi. Will you step up? Hi, baby. I'm not scared of you. Good job. I'm not scared of you. You're doing great. Baby. You're doing such a good job with them. Hi. Isn't he cute? Hi, baby. Look a baby. I'm not scared of That's you. exactly what he needs, is like Hi. someone to get past that. But he, I can pick him up, turn him upside down, love him, love everything. Hi. He is one of the most handleable birds. Oh, good. That I've ever, both him and Nelly. You want to hold you him? You're not scary. Will you step up? Oh, hi. Hi, pretty baby. Hi! Hi! I think the Jende is gonna be a screamer too, so we're already gonna have another screamer in the house, yeah. He's screaming right now because he sees Cody and he hasn't really, you know, he hasn't like really been with these other birds. Yeah. So he needs to still, like coming out of quarantine, he still needs to learn how to interact with the idea of not being the only one. Yeah. So when he gets around Nelly, he does this too. He's like, Meh! and then he like lifts his wings because he's all mad that like he he'll do fine in another flock, but he doesn't do well with Nelly because Nelly is kind of aggressive. Whereas imagine he's in a flock where the other birds are not super jealous and he can just be included. Check this out. There's a lot of action going on, but like, you know, like when you have him and he's like your bird or like, you know how he's 
like loves me right now. You can literally do anything. He's the sweetest. You're so sweet. <laughs> my only problem with the noise is living in a condo is my fear that I'm gonna get a letter on the door one day and they're gonna say, Hey, you gotta get rid of all your birds. like having Picasso in Jersey again, no? He's the kind of bird that like, he's quiet if you're around. Like, so if you're home all day and he's also much more chill on you than Nelly. Nelly will want head scratches the whole time. <laughs> wow, you do well with birds. Thank you. Okay, so when the camera was off, she asked me if Monty was kind of like how we have all the cages lined up. If Monty was on top of the cage and her other birds were on top of the cage, would he be aggressive or go over and attack? No, but Nelly might. Nelly is a very jealous personality. Here's the thing with Monty. Obviously, I don't have the most amount of information about their previous life, but it seems to me like when you meet Nelly, you'll know. Yeah. She absorbs all the love and it's easy for her to get love because she gives it. So imagine you have two birds and one knows how to get head scratches and love and everything and the other one kind of always pushed aside. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. And she like will kick him out to get love. She doesn't want to know that he's getting any love. So like Monty's the underdog and he's been doing really well up in my room by himself because like he gives all the love alone. So I don't think he has it in him to be the aggressor towards other birds. I think he could fit into a flock, but I don't know if Nelly could. Okay. Because like if Nelly is on your shoulder and so is Evie, Nelly I think would get jealous and be like, get out of here. Because if she does it to him, I think she would do it to another bird. He is just the pushed away bird. I've never seen him go for her. Like he's screaming right now because she's screaming over somewhere else. What do you think of him? By the way, guys, this is not a video about her taking the birds, but obviously, you know, I need to rehome them. So if I know of someone that's really good with birds and she's home all day and she takes really good care of her birds and she works from home. So you could see how well she's adjusting to a bird that everyone else is like, oh, they just love you. So just like an option I'm presenting her with. Oh my God, guys, I forgot Cody was in here. This is how I keep my birds like chill like i give them these little hideouts and by the way he's not aggressive at all here let me show you this does not make him aggressive i can come in here and scratch his head and everything honestly i will say they're pretty quiet all day they're loud when they hear each other he's pretty decent like when he's with me he loves the shower he loves the shower water he comes in the shower with me every morning and he like doesn't mind getting a little wet yeah it's cute like he like he wants to try to drink the water oh it's cute <laughs> oh it's like cody wants a head scratch <laughs> cody's so cute it's really good because most birds when they first meet another bird instinctually they'll either attack it or ignore it so the fact that he's not attacking right away and he's like walking away it's, it's really good to see that in my house my conjure is kind of the queen so <laughs> yes, the queen. Yeah, she's in charge of everybody <laughs> Monty, you're so cute, I can't. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, Evie's in there talking. She doesn't want to be bothered. She started grumbling when I, when I moved over it. She likes to pick it through my ears. Look at Jersey, she's literally sleeping. So here's what I'm thinking. You go in first because um, maybe she'll say hi Nelly to you or something. Hi Nelly. Watch this, watch how she kisses, watch. Did you hear it? Yep. That's her. Oh, who's that? You wanna dance? 
Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. She's a little aggressive towards like, she likes to be the only one, but she can copy like any noise. She can talk a lot. That's really good. She's like, you know, a golden bird. Are you just the best? Are you just the bestest bird? Do I get the butt? Why do I always get the butt? This is like, yeah. this is like my life, is the butt. You are so sweet. Shh. It really, the way to bond with Nelly is to sit down and just like what George is doing with Evie, just that. Yeah. Go Nelly, Nelly. You sound like a cat, you're purring. I kissed and you again. And she will accept love from anybody. Let's say all she had was your husband and you weren't around and she, yeah. like, she would accept love from him, I think. That's good, because he needs a loving bird. Yeah? But if she fell for you, <laughs> if I'm in the room, yeah. it's gonna be me. Which is okay with me. Nelly! 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 Oh, Nelly! Oh, Nelly! Oh, Nelly! Oh my goodness, you're silly baby. You're silly baby. I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. She's funny too. She's like a funny bird. Like when I go to put her back, she'll go, oh. And then like if I, when I pull her out, she'll go, hi Nelly. And then when I get her out, out, she goes, hi Nelly. Or then she'll go, Nelly. And then if sometimes I'll say something and she'll go, no. I think you love birds the way I love them. Like you just have to, yeah. you grab them the way like, yeah. My family grabs them. You know what I mean? Who's waiting for me out here? Oh my baby. I heard you calling me. Let's Shh. let's have your husband come over and meet them. See if he approves. Oh, tasty. Is it good, baby? You like that? There you go. Yummy. Yummy. You like the apple? She's enjoying it in her own little weird way. There, now you have an apple pile. You made yourself a little a little pile of apple. Oh, I'm so jealous. I don't want a mustache perky. I mean, I want Picasso, but if I can't get I'm the worst, I'll, I will encourage it. I will encourage it and encourage it. I would dream of having a baby mustache. No, like I want Picasso, but I, like, it's like if I can't have Picasso, I need to have a baby mustache. If I find one for you, will you get it? <laughs> Possibly, but I want a male. Well, all we gotta do is find that little orange sheep, and you're good to go. I want Picasso. Oh, Picasso is the love Why, of my what's life. What's the difference for male and female? Why are you saying you want male more than female? Because Picasso is a male. And you wanna have? I wanna have like, I don't know. There's no good reason. Except like all of my mustache parakeets have been males. Oh, I thought the first one was female. Male. Interesting. Okay. So I have no good reason. Yeah, it's just a I preference I also for you. just like I don't know that cute orange beak. <laughs> I just want I don't know. It's just like how I wanted my African gray to have a white foot, and it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't love him any less. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, if a female came to me, I'd probably... I think if I was... Because you know how I don't really buy birds? They're all rescues. Yeah. If I was to go out and get the bird I wanted, it'd have to be the bird I wanted. Yeah. I'm sort of the same when it comes to animals. I prefer the female over the male. I don't know if it's a hormonal thing. I don't know if it's a... I don't make a mess. Female birds that pluck, I it's harder had... to get them to stop. I haven't had any problems with plucking. I just feel like if you give them the time, the attention, the love and care and good food. You don't really won't. have the type of birds that pluck though. If you had a cockatoo, right? Our lesser self-regressive cockatoo, Ty, was a plucker when we got him. And he's beautiful now. And he's by beautiful the way. now. No and more plucking. Jersey did not get fixed. <laughs> and you see, she has lots of love. She has lots of affection. Nice. nice. Oh my god, what's kiss, happening kiss. here? Kiss, 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 kiss. Be nice. Kiss, 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 kiss. Who's talking? That's her. <laughs> hey guys, okay, look. It's the bird's bedtime. Jerseys. Eating. Are you ready for bed, Leo? Are you ready for bed? You've been bonding with who, Nelly? 
<laughs> got Nelly. We have Monty over here. Monty's the cutest. Vinny's still in his box. Cody is in trouble for biting Johnny because Johnny went to the kitchen sink and nobody's allowed at the kitchen sink. Did I get a cover all the birds? We have Rocky watching his TV. And then George is still obsessed with Evie. There's George and Evie. So we're all going to eat now. Yeah! Okay guys, so here's the update on what this video is about. Me obviously hanging out with a mustache parakeet, Evie, which George actually hung out with the whole entire time. Christina meeting my birds and possibly considering Nellie and Monty. How do you feel so far? More Monty than Nellie. But definitely one of them. Definitely one of them. For those of you who haven't seen my videos in a while, um, the conclusion is that Monty and Nellie have got to be separated. I think I'll have to go into another video and explain why, but it's definitely true. I know you hear them like calling each other, but if they even go near each other, they lose their minds. It's not a joke. They're not each missing a toenail for no reason. They both have damage on their eyes. This is all from before I got them. They're not a bonded pair of birds. They're more like brother and sister fighting for love and they're never gonna get it so they want to kill each other if you guys want a video on that let me know anyway that's the story I love you guys so so much what do you think what's it like watching me on YouTube and then being in the house a lot of fun. is it fun <laughs> Nelly. my parents akin it to being in a zoo and I feel like that's the best type of experience you can get is being in a zoo with a bunch of animals and getting love from everybody <laughs> I think so too I love you guys bye guys um, Christina already went home but I want to tell you something kind of crazy so she told me she got a mustache parakeet because she watched my videos obviously I didn't we didn't know each other she just watched me on YouTube and so she got this mustache parakeet she drove all the way to San Diego to get him him I keep saying him because of Picasso so she drove all the way to San Diego to get her and then she said when she picked up her bird, she said to herself, one day Marlene is gonna meet this bird. And it's kind of funny, like, cause I did. But it's also kind of funny that like, even though I've seen other mustache parakeets in the bird stores since I lost Picasso, I haven't really gotten to hold a mustache parakeet. It's just kind of funny that like, how full circle things come. Then she eventually brought me Evie to hug and hold after I lost Picasso. So if I didn't make the videos I make. There wouldn't be a person out there that got the bird that I love and then I might not have gotten this chance to hold a mustache parakeet again that put herself in sniff position exactly like Picasso. So she got the bird because of me then brought me the bird. So like I caused my own self in the future to be able to hold the exact bird that I needed to hold at that moment. Do you guys understand where I'm going with this? That's all.